Hey, I'm in Archers National Park here in southern Utah, a very beautiful place. If, if you haven't been here, I can highly recommend it. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make long exposures doing broad daylight. I want to capture these formations out here and because I like the clouds. Uh, so I put on my 18 to 200 lens and I added neutral density filters. That's what you have to do if you want to make long exposures during daytime because they are dark. You see? And that way it makes your camera able of doing long exposures. I want to have a 30 seconds exposure. So I'm adding two neutral density filters. I have a ND400 and this is a 1600. I'll just add them front here. They can be a bit tricky. Ah, come on. There you go. Make sure you have framing and focus where you want it to be because once you added the filters, you can't see what you're doing. So you need to focus and frame before you you add those. But with Two neutral density filters like these, you're, I think they are a nine stop each. Uh, so that gives me like 18 stops down. And that makes, if I crank up my aperture to 22, let's see if we can get this one. 22 aperture and ISO 100, uh, I can get 30 seconds exposure. Um, and make sure you. If your camera has the ability, close this one so that it doesn't add any false light, false light to your picture. Or just hold your hand here, it's just the same thing. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not sure the clouds are moving fast enough for, for this effect that I want to have. But I'll give it a shot and I'll show you the picture. At, the end of the video so it's probably gonna come right now so see you next time bye